What makes you who you are? Are you just a robot following a program? Can we change, and should we change, the traumatic memories that ruin lives? The answers lie in the web of electrical impulses inside your skull. Your brain is an incredible piece of organic machinery that produces something far greater than its component parts. Breakthrough science lets us study those parts as never before, uncovering the hidden processes that form our identities and offering new hope for those with brain disorders. The brain is an electrical system. That's how we measure uh, the brain activity. The cells communicate by sending electrical pulses to one another. Mohamed Kubesi is the director of George Washington University Hospital's Epilepsy Center. His pioneering research is revealing how the electrical storms of the brain produce memory and consciousness and how we can help those whose brains misfire. Early in my medical school years, I decided to become an epileptologist because it's the specialty that will allow you to study the brain millimeter by millimeter and centimeter by centimeter through cortical stimulation mapping. To map what goes on inside the brain, Mohammed implants tiny electrodes in his patient's skulls. He then sends pulses to these electrodes gradually increasing the current, sometimes with dramatic results. Recently, he inserted an electrode next to a small region called the claustrum. The claustrum is uniquely connected to other parts of the brain. When we were doing the mapping, we were surprised to see what uh, stimulation of the claustrum uh, resulted in. I asked her to read, and I discovered that stimulation of this one electrode, which is in the claustrum, uh, made her stop reading and uh, have no memory to what happened during the stimulation. When I was 21, 28, my mother died after a decade long illness. When Mohammed sends a 14 milliamp electric pulse into the claustrum, the patient freezes mid sentence. It's as if her conscious mind has been switched off. Cognitively, she is completely impaired. Uh, no language function, no uh, memory function, no responsiveness. We drove the country road out to, out to her place. When the current is reduced, she picks up exactly where she left off. I taught English at a small college in the Bay Area. The findings led to some authors to naming the claustrum the on-off switch of, of consciousness, um, uh, which, based on this case, uh, is actually pretty accurate. This was an incredible finding. But it is just one of the many ways he's exploring the brain and pushing forward the treatment of disorders of consciousness. Muhammad has also developed a new way to treat people with severe epilepsy, He's looking for volunteers willing to have electrical stimulators permanently installed in their brains. But there are no guarantees it will work, because the human brain may be the most complex object in the universe.